Name? Jack Sanders. Age? 17. And why were you at Jane Thompson's house on January 13th? I was at Mrs. Thompson's house for the rock, paper, scissors tournament she was hosting. I was a competitor. And what do you remember from that day? Well, Ellie and I, Ellie's my best friend, we got there at the same time, so we walked in together. She had to go take some photos or something, so she went back outside right after we got in. Hey, Mrs. Thompson, long time no see. Hey, Jack, it's so good to see you. Um, your spot is over there. Thanks. Summer and I go way back. We've been competing in these things since we were kids. She's beaten me every single time. I have, well, I had a lot of respect for her. Summer! Jack! We're paired together for the first round, you know. I saw. Hey Jack, I'm gonna beat you. We'll see about that. Hello dear. She was gonna beat me. I knew that. But I wasn't about to admit it. And, I don't know, maybe I secretly hoped I could finally win for once. Anyway, I decided I'd go to the bathroom before the tournament started. Whoa, sorry. You're good. I walked back to the tournament room and went to my seat. Summer wasn't there. Mrs. Thompson okay, called the start of the competition, started. and Summer still wasn't there. Just as I was about to ask where she was, Elodie ran in and- Wait! It's Summer! She's- she's- Well, you know. That's about all I can remember, sir. Thank you, Jack. Go back to the lobby. Thank you. Next. Hi, how are you today? Name? Elodie Knight. Age? 17. And why are you at Jane Thompson's house on the 13th of January? I'm a photographer. Sometimes people pay me to shoot their tournaments. Usually it's things like soccer or volleyball, but I also do rock, paper, scissors because of Jack. I pretty much do anything if Jack asked. I don't understand how a person can be so good at rock, paper, scissors. How'd you beat me at the stop sign? How do you always beat me? Intuition, baby. Do you think you'll win? I doubt it. Summer's in there and I can never You can never, never win, win against, against Summer. Summer. I believe in you. Oh, hey, did you see we got a 95 on that paper? Yeah, I did. Summer got a 100, though. 95 is good enough for me. Isn't it frustrating, though? She's always just a step ahead of me. Stop it with Summer. You're cooler than her anyway. I wouldn't say that. She is way cooler. Did you hear that her parents got divorced and her stepsister can't stand her? I know. It's so sad. I don't understand how someone could not like her. I wonder. I'm gonna go take some exterior photos of the house. You go on without me. Okay. I decided to walk around the back of the house to get some fresh air. I wasn't really feeling photography at the moment and the competition didn't start for another 10 minutes. All Jack does now is talk about summer. I stayed out there for the next few minutes. After a while, it was about time to get ready to photograph. I went in the back door. That's when I saw her. She wasn't breathing. She didn't have a pulse. Wait, it's Summer. She's, she's. So I told them and now I'm here. Thank you, Elodie. Go wait outside. Next. I'm Nessa. 18. I was in charge of the water at the tournament, and I'm Summer's stepsister. Continue. My mom married Summer's dad three months ago. We moved in together. Me, my mom, Summer, and Summer's dad. Two only children in one house. Summer does rock, paper, scissors tournaments, which is weird, but whatever. My mom signed me up to be a waitress at them. It's basically just giving people water. We were getting ready to leave for one that morning. Hey, Alice! Can I have some money from your wallet? I might want to get a milkshake after I'm done. Sure, sweetie. Go ahead. Thanks. Hey, Alice. Can I have some money, too? First of all, don't call me Alice. I'm your brother. And no, you're making money there anyway. Ugh. Sorry. I know I shouldn't have left her behind, but I was frustrated with her. Anyway, I drove to Mrs. Thompson's house. Before I could even get out of the car, my mom dropped Summer off. copies of these performance sheets for me. I totally forgot and I have to watch the room. Of course, Mrs. T. I'm on it. Thank you. That was the last time I saw Summer. 
She left the room to go make coffees. I was low on water, so I went to the hallway to refill it. Whoa, sorry. You're good. I filled up the jug, took it back to the competition room, and gave cups to a couple more people. And you know the rest. I do. Hmm. Well, thank you, Nessa. You can go back to the lobby. Avery PD. I just got off the phone with the forensics department. Summer was stabbed in the back of the neck with a one-inch blade. And if you know anything about a one-inch blade? All right. It's late. Your stories match up. I have other leads to follow. You all might be called back for reinvestigation if something else comes up. Shoo! Hey, Nessa. Catch. I probably shouldn't keep this. That makes sense. See you later. See ya. You're good. No one steals my mom from me, you bitch! Nessa! She, she just fainted. No, I saw what you did. I'd like to do the same thing. And go ahead. Wait, it's Sark! She's... she's... 